Hey everybody, tomorrow's election day and it's time for closing arguments. Mine is very simple. It's the same argument I've been making for three years. The House of Representatives is broken. It no longer serves the needs of Texans or the American people. It no longer fulfills its responsibilities as defined in the Constitution. And this year you have a very clear choice between myself, a private citizen who's dedicated to fixing it, and a career politician who spent most of the last quarter century breaking it. I've raised my family right here in Central Texas. I know firsthand that the divisiveness we feel doesn't reflect our core values. It reflects our frustration with a government that has let us down for decades. Regardless, I know that some of you have concerns about voting for me simply because I'm a Democrat. I'd like to remind you that the Waco Trib described me as a centrist brimming with ideas, not ideology. I'm dedicated to finding effective and achievable solutions to improve the health, the security, and the prosperity of my fellow Central Texans, regardless of where those solutions might fall on the political scale. My opponent is exactly the opposite. GovTrack rated him the most ideological and hyperpartisan member of Congress in his last term. He was in the House for 22 years, the exact period of time that Congress shrunk from its constitutional duties and failed to address the issues that we all face today. He's been a subject in at least two federal law enforcement investigations in recent years, which might still be ongoing. And he appears to be chronically unable to discern between what is ethically right and what is ethically wrong. All of this should deeply concern you. And if you want to know who your representative is really going to work for in D.C., follow the money trail. My opponent gets more than half of his support from corporate PACs and the Republican Party, and his average individual contribution is over $1,000. I have no corporate PAC or party money in my campaign account, and my average contribution was $53.53. I'm not here to win this seat for my party. I'm here to win it for us. I won't be a rubber stamp for a Democratic president or a stone wall of obstruction for a Republican. If Donald Trump wins re-election, I'll support him when his policies are good for us and for the country, and I'll oppose him otherwise. And if Joe Biden wins, I'll do exactly the same thing. I will put our interests first, country before party, and my oath to the Constitution above all. Regardless of your choice, please get out there and vote. Your vote is your voice, so let it be heard. I can't thank you all enough for your support. Please be safe. God bless you. God bless Texas. And God bless America.